Hi guys, today we are going to see the determinant second part. The second part starts with the area of triangle. So this is the formation of area of triangle. So we already know area of triangle as this formula, right? That is uh, 1 by 2 x1 y2 minus y3 plus x2 y3 minus y1 plus x3 y1 minus y2 right if uh, this formula you might be studied in the coordinate geometry of class 10th the same thing we can able to represent it in the determinants form see now i already told if you want to expand this thing in the row wise then i will get this formula to make it easy we are making in this formula so what i can do here this will be my x1 this will be my y1 this is x2 this is y2 and this is x3 and this is y3 if i substitute in this for determinants and if i find the determinants of that matrix then i will get the area of triangle formula so it's too simple so it's uh, easy to have this kind of uh, sums in your class 12th so if i take so this is my x1 right so how i will write so del is equal to 1 by 2 determinant value of so x1 is 3 and x2 is minus 4 and this one will be 5 and what is my y1 y1 is 8 2 and 1 and what is the remaining already written it's 1 now if i expand this that is 1 by 2 let it be and if, if i take 1 by 2 of 3 into 2 1 1 1 and minus 8 of minus 4 1 5 1 and plus 1 of minus 4 2 5 1 so next step what i will do it will be going to be 1 by 2 into 3 into 2 minus 1 minus 8 into minus 4 minus 5 and plus 1 into minus 4 minus 10. so 1 by 2 i can write like this 3 into 1 minus 8 into minus 9 and plus 1 into it's going to be minus 4 two. so 1 by 2 3 72 minus 40 it will be minus then 75 minus 14 will be 1 by 2 of 61 it's going to be 30.5 unit square square unit otherwise we can do like this so this is the way we want to find the area of triangle formula this column that is x1 then uh, if i do that then i will get the original formula what you stated in your class 10th okay so next one is minor it's the same minor what we studied in the um, matrix also the same thing so you know how to find that minor of all the elements now here once again i am repeating that that is if i want to find the minor of one what i will do i will leave the row and column what is there and i will get these four as a minor then to get the value what i will do for minor of one what i will do so minor of one i will do this five six eight nine so it is going to be 45 minus 48 it is going to be minus three so this is the way you want to find the minor of each determinant here minor of six how we can find the minor of six we can leave the row and column what is associated with 6 and what are the remaining element I have? I have 1, 2, 7, 8 and for this I want to take that determinants value that is going to be 14 which is going to be minus 6. Okay, so this is how we want to find the minor. So cofactor is what I will do? I will check the column and the uh, row and the col column number it is going to be a11 so a1 plus 1 it is going to be 2 so it is even so i am not going to change any sign of this but here it is a12 1 plus 2 will be 3 3 is odd so i am going to change the side of the sign of the minor so first i will find the minor of 1 so minor of 1 is going to be 3 and minor of minus 2 is going to be 4 and minor of uh, 3 is going to be 1 and minor of uh, it is 4 is going to be minus 2 and the 3 is going to be 1 so then i will write as uh, since it is in the i can put like this right so it is going to be positive only and this is going to be negative and this is going to be positive no change in the sign here it's going to be change in sign so i will write like this 3 minus 4 2 minus 1 so this is the cofactor of the matrix given okay similarly uh, if i have the adjoint what is going to be my adjoint is it is a transpose of the cofactor so first i will find the minor of this that is minor of 2 is 4 and minor of 3 is 1 
write minor and minor of 1 is going to be 3 and minor of 4 is going to be 2 right and uh, I know that simply this is going to be minus and this is going to be minus so my cofactor is going to be 4 minus 1 3 minus 2 then what is adjoint adjoint of a is going to be transpose of cofactor that is 4 3 minus 1 minus 2 this is going to be cofactor for adjoint for this matrix yeah. and this is one of the important theorem it says that a into adjoint of a will be equal to adjoint of a into a then it is equal to determinants of a into identity we all know that matrix multiplication is not a commutative right it is not going to be that is a b is not going to be equal to b a but it is not in the case of a and adjoint of a if i am finding a adjoint of a and i am multiplying it or adjoint of a into a will give the same answer and it is going to be equal to determinants of the a into identity matrix so this one you should always remember so in some cases they will ask to prove this matrix by take given giving some uh, matrix to you and important thing is here uh, we can say that matrix is singular what it means is if a determinant is singular then the determinant value of a will be zero if the determinant of a value is zero then i will say that determinant as singular or matrix as singular and if it is what is the meaning of non-singular then it is non-zero some other number okay for the that, that is there in that and there is an another important theorem that is uh, if a and b are non-singular matrix of same order and a b and b a are also be non-singular matrix of same order that is if i am taking two non-singular matrix a and b and if i am multiplying that in any order a b or b a then that two also will have the determinants value of non-zero that is non-singular matrix okay and uh, oh, another one more uh, theorem is the determinant of the product of matrix is equal to the product of the respective determinant that is if i am multiplying two matrix i am doing the determinant of that will be equal to determinant of a into determinant of b understood this guys that is if i am taking two matrix and multiplying and getting new matrix a b after getting a matrix a b i will find the determinant value of that that will be equal to separate determinant value of a and b multiplication so this is what this theorem says and uh, if a matrix if the square matrix a is invertible if and only if a is non singular I will say this, why invertible means you know right, that is if I am having a A inverse exist, then I will say it is invertible. So this is the formula for inverse of matrix. So I already taught you one more method to find the inverse of matrix, right? That is A inverse is equal to 1 by adjoint, 1 by determinant of A into adjoint of A. So this is an another way to find the uh, inverse of the matrix. So this uh, for many people uh, uh, this this might be the easiest method to do but uh, this thing will be easy but uh, it will be time consuming also if this if it is 3 cross 3 it will be time consuming think that you want to take a minor of all 9 elements and you want to take a cofactor of all 9 elements then you want to find the adjoint of A then you want to find the determinant of A and you want to substitute here so this is the way it may take some little more time but so this a is equal to matrix is given then as to verify i already told that this kind of sum will come a into adjoint of a will be equal to determinants of a into i and also find a inverse to find a inverse this is the formula we can use here why because already we are going to find that joint and already we are going to find the determinants of here so i can be able to use so one of the important application of determinants of and matrix is finding the solution for linear equation there are many methods this is known as matrix method this method is known as matrix method for solving a linear equation so we will have this formula x is equal to a inverse into b so x is equal to a inverse into b what i will say what is a and what is b in the solution so we know that if i have a inverse a inverse only exist if my determinants of a is not equal to zero right if determinants of a is equal to zero then i will say it as singular matrix okay that is my determinants my a inverse if i want to find my a inverse then my matrix should be or my determinant should be non singular okay i will speak about that in uh, after solving one sum so what my first sum says this this want to find the if i say if i give this sum what how you will find the x and y normally you will use uh, all methods you know that is substitution method elimination method but here what i am going to do since it is a matrix method i am going to solve i will make a matrix a first i will write the x coefficients that is 2 1 3 and i will write the y coefficients 5 1 2 this will be my a and my b is going to be what is after that equal to and obviously my x is 
my unknowns that is x and y now according to the formula i know that a is equal to a inverse b x is equal to a inverse b so now i want to find x a inverse so find would find a inverse first i what i will find i will find my determinants of a that is determinant value of this will be going to be 4 minus 11 15 which is going to be minus 11 right so my determinant of a is not equal to 0 that is my determinant of a is some non zero that is it is non singular so i can able to find so it is going to have some unique value it is going to have some unique value it's going to be unique it means that since my determinants of a is not equal to zero it is a non singular matrix for a non singular matrix i am going to have a unique solution that we will speak about it later now i will find the adjoint of this to find the adjoint i want to find the cofactor so cofactor of this will be 2 minus 3 minus 5 2 and what will be my adjoint adjoint of a is going to be 2 minus 5 minus 3 2 so we find this now what i am going to do is a inverse is equal to 1 by minus 11 and then i will write my adjoint that is 2 minus 5 minus 3 2 so according to my formula i want to multiply b with this so i will multiply b here that is 1 7 for multiplication i will put this arrows so 1 by minus 11 is equal to 2 minus 35 and it is going to be minus 3 plus 40 so my answer is going to be 1 minus 11 so it's going to be so here minus 33 here it's going to be 11 so it is here so it is 3 and 1 so my x value is going to be 3 and y value is minus 3 actually so here minus plus 1 and here it's going to be minus 1 so y is going to be minus 1 so this is my values okay so this is one of the way we can able to find the solve the equations okay one more thing what i have to say is if my determinants is zero what will be happen if my determinant is zero then my system is not going to have a inverse right i can't able to find a inverse because since the determinant is zero no need to find the a inverse because we know that it is not going to come so for that what uh, we can do is there are two things that is we want to take this adjoint of a even if so that is here it is written that if a, if a, a is singular matrix then no need to find we can take a singular matrix then determinant of a will be zero in this case we have to calculate adjoint of a into b if i get adjoint of a into b is as zero then we can say that that is null matrix or zero matrix then we say that solution does not exist and system of equation is inconsistent at the same time if it is equal to zero if it is equal to zero then we will say that it has infinitely many solutions or no solution that is system is inconsistent so accordingly we will change the answer that is if adjoint of a and b i will multiply i will get if it is non-zero matrix that is if i am getting any numbered matrix that is like this one zero two one like that if any matrix if i am getting non-zero matrix then i will say the solution does not exist and system of equation is called inconsistent but if uh, adjoint of a and b is equal to null matrix that is if i am getting a matrix like this 0 0 0 0 then system either may be consistent or inconsistent according to the system either they have infinitely many solution or no solution so this is the way we can be able to comment on the consistency or inconsistency of the system okay by this we finish the determinants of matrix thank you